I just got the Thunderbolt laser and I'm so freaking excited. I cannot wait to use this thing. And most importantly, I'm just super excited to use a different brand of laser and compare it to the other lasers I've used in the past. So Thunder Laser did send this to me for me to try out and do some videos on. And I cannot say thank you enough to Thunder for sending me this laser. That being said, I am going to do all my own opinions and everything. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of these straps. And then we should be able to just pop off this top. All right, so right on top, we have all the things that we need to get started. So let's move this out of the way. And then inside we have the freaking thunder laser. This laser is seriously packaged so well, I cannot get over it. So then what I'm gonna do to make this easier, I'm just gonna cut down all these sides, hopefully, with my little knife here. And I'm just gonna go real careful. And Elsa has decided to help with this part too. So let's get the other side. Having a box cutter would definitely help. All right, and then here you can see the back of the laser. So next we're gonna move these styrofoam pieces. Sorry, Elsa. And this is gonna just make it a whole lot easier to pick up and put on the workbench. So this is definitely a two or even three person job. So make sure you have someone here to help you. So I am gonna rip apart these sides of the styrofoam just to make it easier to grab. All right, and now it's ready to be lifted. And the one other cool thing is this does arrive on a pallet. So you do have a pallet left over that you can do some fun little pallet wood projects with. So the laser comes with this little accessory bag, which holds the power cord, some cleaning tools, uh, some just normal tools, some Allen wrenches and a screwdriver. And then it has the two cords where you can either choose to hook up your computer, either the ethernet cable or the USB cable. And then it has the keys to unlock the sides of the doors. And it has the little test packet showing you that the laser was working from the factory. Of course it has instructions and it has some cleaning supplies. Let's do a little unboxing montage. So now we need to get the rest of the laser ready. That way we can start to use the laser. All right, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta get rid of all these zip ties. So I'm just gonna use these little kind of cutters here. And for these zip ties that are over this little cable here, you wanna be careful that you don't accidentally cut the wrong thing. Look at that one. So we can cut this one up here. Then we can cut this one over here. Okay, so now that we got all of the stuff off of the bed, we can get our little start key from the starter kit and so we can turn this on. And that's really cool. <laughs> and so we're just gonna click confirm and move and then it will adjust itself. And now we're ready to use it. So this green light means that the laser is ready to go and can do a job. And it explains down here too what the red light does. So that when it's a permanent red light, that means the laser is doing a job. So it's really cool that we have this indicator on here. One thing to keep in mind as well is my machine did come with the emergency stop already pushed down. And so it didn't want to do anything until I raised that up. Okay, so next we got to install a light burn onto the computer. That way we can actually control the laser. And then we're going to use the USB to do that. And then we also have this little card of settings to really double check and make sure that everything is as it should be. So the first thing you need to do is come to lightburn.com and we are going to download the free trial. So I am using the Mac, so I'm gonna download the Mac version. All right, so once we have that open up, then we can just drag it over to our application file. And then we can come into the applications here and we can launch this program. And then normally the security for the Mac will say, do you wanna open this? So just click open. All right, so I'm gonna click start your free trial and I'm just gonna click okay. So now we need to add our device. So we're gonna come over here to import. And then I'm gonna come over here to my little USB drive and it says Thunderbolts. And then we can do this communication. And then they have two different versions for whether you're doing the ethernet or the USB. So let's do the USB. Click open and then we can see it there. Click okay. And then now it should be in here, but let's come up to the settings just to kind of double check everything. And this is where we wanna double check that these settings match up into the program right here. So this is 500 millimeters a second. That's correct, and it says a thousand, and that's correct as well. So that looks all good to me, so I'm gonna click OK. So now we should be good to go from a light burn perspective, and then now we can start making our first project. So now that you have the settings put in and you figured out the way that you're gonna connect your laser, now you can move on to doing your first project. So that's gonna end it for the unboxing video here. I cannot wait to do some project with this blazer. I think it's gonna be super awesome. Already, there are so many things that I like way better about this laser than the other laser that I use on this channel. And so I'm just really excited to really jump in and get some projects. I'm going to be doing a whole kind of 101 series for this laser. So make sure you're subscribing if you want to see the rest of those videos. Uh, but thanks so much for doing this unboxing with me and Elsa. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.